Okay. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we got the CL 4x4. This is the Fox Alien flagship machine that we're gonna go ahead, unbox, and assemble it on today's video. Today's video is just gonna be strictly the unboxing and setup. It's gonna go on this bench that I built the other day. If you have not yet seen that video, I will put a link in the description. And then the next video, we're gonna go ahead and hook it up and we're gonna do a test cut because this is a big series that I'm doing for this machine. I'm super excited excited about it. It cuts a four foot by four foot working area. It can fit and accommodate a full sheet of plywood all the way through it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed, get all the parts laid out. I built many of these machines, so it shouldn't be too bad, just big. You can see it took six, bo six boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six boxes to get this thing delivered. At the time of this machine's purchase, it was $3,999. I will put a link in the description to that as well. I just wanna say thank you to all of my subscribers, current, new, past. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you're not yet subscribed, go down below, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button, get notified of all of my videos because I'm gonna be doing a full series on this machine, on this channel. With that being said, let's go ahead and crack these boxes open, check them out and get them laid out and then we're gonna go ahead and get this thing built. Let's do it. Not done yet. All right, looks like we're moving on to the last box, box number six. Let's do it. Inside is the instructions. Look at this massive, massive wiring loom right here. This is the uh, 400 watt spindle with the NEMA motor. So this is all put together for me, which is really nice. Then I'll only have to basically screw in one, two, three, four, right over here. Should be pretty easy. Screws, nuts, and bolts. Comes with Allen keys, comes with your tools, comes with your Z probe, has some extra bits which I will not use. Here is some software again which I will not use, but everything in here that you need to build this machine, you do not need any extra tools to build this machine. Power cable, some mounting brackets, 69 and a 65 millimeter bracket for adapting a different kind of spindle. So if you have certain kind of spindles that, uh, for instance, like a Makita router, a Bauer router, or DeWalt or anything like that, you can go ahead and use one of these. Not sure exactly which one's which. And last, the controller box. Here it is right here. And then of course, here is the back if you're interested in what they look like. Everything is labeled and super easy to read. All right guys, and don't forget when you get your machine for the very first time, your stop is probably most likely gonna be pushed in. If for some reason you can't figure out why your machine isn't working, make sure you flip that switch. Because if it's pushed in like that, this machine will not work. All right, everybody, so I got my parts all laid out. They're ready to go. What I'm gonna do is kind of reorganize a little bit, and then when we come back, we will go ahead and get the assembly started on the CL 4x4. Super excited, so stay tuned. Let's go ahead, and uh, when we come back, I'll be ready to go. So I kind of went over the instructions just like you should do, and come to find out, we're gonna go ahead and assemble the bottom rails first. That is what the wasteboard T-Track is gonna set on. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, set that up, get those installed. What I'm gonna do is pull this away because I'm gonna have to walk around this machine a lot to get it set up and built because I am doing it myself. I kind of would recommend if you have somebody else that can help you do it, it's definitely a recommendation. But uh, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna use my own Allen keys right here. These are metric Allen keys. These are the kind of good ones with the little T handles. A lot easier to use, uh, but you definitely can use the tools that they come with. You don't need these. This thing is really easy to put together. All the things are in pictures, super easy to follow. There's really not a whole lot of steps to building. In eight simple steps, you're gonna have this machine put together. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get this thing put together. Here we go.
and then you're gonna grab that end. I'm gonna grab this end. It's in. It's in. So now what I can do, okay, is tighten these back up. All right, guys, so as you saw, I had to give this thing a little bit of persuasion to get into spot. The gantry was really, really tight. The way that I was able to resolve that was I loosened up all of the bolts on the y-axis on this side as well as on this side here and what that did was loosened it up and allowed it to kind of come in i used something to hold this piece up here with a little bit of wood that way it was just inside those little arms right here and then gave it a little bit of a love tap on this side and it fell right into place so if you do this i don't recommend that you hit really hard on any of the metal or anything like that. Use something like a piece of wood. I use basically a little block of wood, kind of held it across there, and we should be good. I went ahead then retightened everything up. So now my spoil board is tightened up. I got my Y axis rails tightened. Now what I'm ready to do is go ahead and permanently affix the gantry into the Y axis linear rails right here. That way it will be able to move now with the y-axis rail so with that being said let's go ahead and wrap this up and then we're ready for the electronics and uh, get the rest of this thing put together here we go All right guys, so one of the steps that I'm gonna be doing that you might not be able to do if you set this up is I have the Fox Alien relay switch. That way when my machine turns on, it's gonna automatically kick on the spindle and my HSF 800 all at the same time. If you do not have one of these, these are amazing. They're super easy to use. Basically it bypasses, this is kind of a spindle bypass. Uh, so instead of plugging the spindle cord right here, directly into the controller box. What I'm gonna do is plug it into my relay switch like this, and then this will go into directly the spindle part in the back of my box. And then what I'm going to do is take this and plug this directly into the outlet, and we should be good to go. All right, guys, that is it. That is the build. This is the CL4x4 CNC machine. This is their flagship machine 
by Fox Alien and I am super ecstatic that I was able to get it installed and nearly do it by myself with the exception of the gantry. I was having a little troubles with the, uh, the gantry but uh, by loosening this up had no issues gave it a little bit of persuasion and it went right into place. Uh, now I did move the gantry back to take the picture of the thumbnail. I just cranked these little handles back and forth in that direction and I was able to get that thumbnail because I have not yet turned this thing on and what I'm gonna do tomorrow, because it's kinda late, it's like 10 p.m., I am going to do another video that I'm going to release pretty much back to back. So what we're gonna do is the very next video I'm going to post pretty much instantly within 24 hours, uh, we're gonna do a setup and an initial cut just to make sure that everything works okay. Uh, but what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go right from their website. I have my phone out. We're just gonna talk a few of the specs. The first thing we're gonna talk about is just the sheer size of this. It is, again, like it says in the name, it's four by four. It will cut a half sheet, a four foot by four foot sheet of plywood with no problems. 48.03 on their cutting according to their website, which is 1,220 millimeters. The other thing that it has is this is ball screw driven with linear rails on the X, Y, and Z axis, uh, which is pretty awesome. Next thing that we're talking about is the spindles. You can upgrade the spindles. You can see right here that it has two extra spindle mounts that you can put, a Makita, a DeWalt, a Bauer router, a generic router that you find on Amazon or anything like that. It definitely will support Support a 1.5 or a 2.2 kilowatt motor as well, a water cooled. All right, the next thing that we could talk about, you can fit a full sheet of plywood right through this. There's nothing blocking the way, even this point right here to this point. So if you wanted to do something really, really big and cut, this machine can do it if, as long as you have the tiling set correctly and you know how to do tiling, which basically means one half of the cut or one quarter of the cut, and then you keep moving your piece of wood down and then it picks up where basically it left off. I don't think I talked about the motors. The NEMA 23 stepper motors, these are the big boys. According to their website, these are 60% more powerful than their Vasto XXL machine. This is the top of the line. This is the machine of all machines when it comes to Fox Alien. It's massive, it is really big. You saw the thumbnail, I basically laid on top of it and it didn't budge. It is super sturdy, you can put a slab of wood on this and it is going to definitely hold it. If you're somebody who puts slabs of wood on you know, your machine and you wanna do flattening, you can use this machine to do that, absolutely, with no problems. So they also talk about the installation, how easy this thing is to build. As a matter of fact, they're not wrong. This thing is stupid easy to build. If I wasn't recording, and I always put this in my video, if I wasn't recording, I could probably have this machine built out of the box, up and running in about 45 minutes. There's, that's, that's no joke. A first timer, maybe an hour, an hour and 20 minutes if they really, really wanted to take their time. Um, it, it is extremely easy to build. With this machine, I highly recommend that two people do it. It just makes life a lot easier. These pieces are really heavy and you don't wanna drop them. I was able to do it by myself. I've done these before, but I don't recommend it. So some of the stuff that I really didn't show you on camera are the tools that it comes with. It does come with the wrenches. Now you'll use these wrenches for the spindle to loosen up and tighten up the spindle, your, your end mills and stuff like that. I didn't use the Allen keys because what I use, the T-handle Allen wrenches, they're so much easier to use. Another thing that it comes with, your software. It comes with some test cuts, also some software that you can use. I don't use this, I use Easel Pro. I pay for their monthly subscription. It does cost me $24 a month. So $24 to have a program as awesome as Easel is and as easy as it is to use, it's what works for me. There's just different programs out there that you can use that will run this machine. There are a ton of other channels out there that can show you tutorials. Me personally, I'll probably get to more tutorials for Easel because I know how to use it. I know how to get the programs to work. So stay tuned for that. We'll probably do some more videos and stuff like that. It does come with some end mills. Now these are 1 8 inch end mills. Uh, here is the T-clamps. These are the clamps that go in the T-tracks to hold your piece of wood down. I might be using them a little bit more with this uh, machine when I do big giant pieces, only for the sheer fact to do the blue tape method and hold down and use blue tape on this. 
it might be a pain in the butt. You really don't need a lot of tape for the blue tape method. Just a couple strips, a little bit of super glue, a little bit of activator, and it will hold down your piece just fine. All right, guys, that is it. That is the machine for a desktop. This is not even desktop. I don't even know how to classify this. Industrial grade, industrial strength, I don't know. I don't do industrial machinery. So if you're obviously looking to pump out, you know, hundreds and hundreds of cabinets and stuff like this, obviously probably not it but if you're somebody who crafts wants to make some side money and make some you know nice flags some cutting boards and some really cool things that you can make and sell this is the machine to get because it is going to do the biggest baddest stuff that you can do there are smaller machines like the 8040 that i have over here and the Masuder 3 and the Masuder Pro, uh, they make some small, awesome machines. They're absolutely amazing if you can't afford them. This is $4,000 at the time of this video. Uh, might go down in the future, but it's on sale, so it might go back up to almost $5,000, $4,800. I'm actually gonna be making some cabinets for the workshop. I think my big first project we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make my logo. We're gonna make a giant, Crawl Space Craftsman logo right there on the wall because that wall is absolutely blank and naked. Let me show you. I think we need a big giant, the Crawl Space Craftsman logo, something like that. We're gonna do it right on that wall right there. But on this next video, we are gonna go ahead and hook it up, do a test cut and stuff like that. See how this thing does, see how easy it is to set up an easel and uh, yeah, go from there. All right guys, that is it. That is the video of the day. If you like this video, go down below, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help the channel. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that black bell button to get notified of all of my newest videos because this is just the beginning of the CL 4x4 series. So if you're interested in that, again, make sure you like and subscribe. All right guys, until that next video, make sure y'all do one thing, stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one, bye.